good morning. This is Miss Alafia. I am your art teacher. Some of you know me already. Some of you do not know me yet. So to those that do not know me, hi, I'm so excited to meet you. We are going to be doing our art lessons virtually like this, where I will post a video for you, as well as a post, sort of like the one that is in our week, I believe. Well, you know what, I'm gonna stop labeling my channel by week and I'm just gonna label them by the unit that we're doing. That might clear up some confusion because we are all on different schedules and I want this to be as easy to understand and complete as possible. So here I am in the Love Grove art room and I would love to teach you all a little bit about color and color theory. Now some of my kids have already created your reference sheets and for those of you who have created your reference sheets, you can skip ahead in this video to a time that I will put in the description below so that you will know what to do next. For those of you who have not yet completed our color reference sheets, I'd like to explain to you the structure of my art classes. So the very first thing that we do is we use our sketchbooks. Now some of us have made our very own sketchbooks. I can show you what that looks like out of some scratch paper or you can just use paper and keep it in a folder, whatever you'd like to do. But we are going to use our notebooks for all of the different elements of art and principles of design so far. So in your sketchbook, what I would like for you to do is to first get out the three colors, red, yellow, and blue. Now you can use these colors in any way you like. I'm using these very interesting color sticks that are like crayons and colored pencils a little bit, but you can use colored pencils, you can use crayons, you can use markers, you can even use paint if you have paint at home and you would like to experiment with it. Oh, there's an announcement. Hold on just a minute. Okay, the announcement is over. We can get back to work. So now we should have out the colors red, yellow, and blue. Now these are called the primary colors. We definitely want to use our primary colors today because we're going to be experimenting with color mixing and with putting colors together to blend up brand new colors. So with these three colors, we're going to be able to make the entire rainbow today. You can see behind me I have some examples of primary color art that we're going to be creating something like today. So let's start off with our primary colors. Now on my sheet of paper here, I'm just going to draw a circle. Let's start off with the color red at the top of my paper here. I'm going to draw a red circle and I am going to color it in. So I want you guys to do that as well on your piece of paper. Go ahead and color in your red circle. Very nice. You should have a solid red circle just like so. The next color I want you to pick up is your yellow. Now when we draw our yellow circle, I'll come a little closer so you can really see we are going to draw our yellow circle a little bit inside of our red circle, just like that. Now this can be whatever size you want it to be on your paper and it can even be whatever shape you like. Maybe you'd like to draw them all as trapezoids or hexagons, hearts or stars, rectangles or even forms like cubes. That could be okay too. Anything that you want to put in your own art is completely allowed. There's never anything wrong in art. So now I've colored in my yellow circle. Did you see that I took care to even color in my yellow right here where there was red already? Make sure that you color in and blend those two colors together. Can you see anything happening in between the colors? Maybe not yet, but soon you will. Next color I'm going to use, oh dear, <laughs> an accident. That's okay, some of my papers fell out. Now the next color that we're going to use is going to be the color blue. Now just as I did with yellow, 
I'm going to take my blue, and so are you, and we're going to draw our circle a little bit inside of the yellow, just like that. And we're going to color it all the way in. As you color in your circles, and remember, if I'm going a little too fast for you, that's okay. You can always pause my video. Now to my sweet friends who I've already had classes with, I know the last time you heard from me was me saying that I had been reassigned and we would not have classes anymore. Well, that happened and I was reassigned to high school and I taught there for three days, one, two, three days, I taught high school debate, not even art class. And after those three days, I got the email that we'd all been waiting for saying that my new permanent assignment was back with you all and here at this new elementary school as well. So I am here for both of you and I am so happy to be back and I hope you guys are happy to see me again because I'm so happy to see you. So now we should have our three colors colored in there just like that. Is there something happening between the blue and the yellow? That almost to me looks like a different color. It's kind of magical the way that that happens. So when you mix these colors together, you actually create new colors. Last but not least, I'm drawing a red circle again on the side here of the blue. I'm gonna put it a little bit inside, oops, always falling. I'm gonna put it a little bit inside of my blue. and color all of that in together. Oh, it's creating a new color again between that red and blue. How fantastic. What colors do you see? I can tell you what colors I see. I see the color red here, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then red again. Now we made all those colors just by using the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. I bet you we can make even more colors together. But let's go ahead and practice underneath our red and our yellow Let's make a new shape underneath. I'm gonna stick with circles. I drew one, two, three red circles here. Now beneath our red and our blue, I'm gonna draw another three circles. One, two, three. Now I will pick up my yellow and underneath my yellow and my blue here. I'm going to draw one, two, three yellow circles. And we're going to practice mixing up those colors that are in between inside of our circles. I'll come much closer so you can see what I'm doing. And my things are falling again, but that's okay. So here we go. Now I am going to use the blue color here where there's red and blue, I'm gonna go over my red with my blue color in order to create three little purple circles. One, two, three. Now here where there's blue and yellow, I'm gonna go over my yellow with blue to create three green circles. One, two, and three. Three green circles. Isn't that so magical? Now I'm gonna go over my red circles here with yellow to create three orange circles because red and yellow make orange. One, two, and three. So now underneath my 
primary colors, I should have my secondary colors, which are purple, green, and orange. So we have our primary colors. These colors are special because no matter what you do, you can't mix up a color red, blue, or yellow with any other colors. Now, orange, green, and purple, you can mix from the primary colors. They are the second set of colors that you can create. That's why they are called the secondary colors. Primary means first, secondary is second. So from here, we can actually make another couple of colors. They are going to be called the tertiary colors. Let's all say together, tertiary colors. Now, tertiary colors are the third set of colors you can create. And you do that by adding a primary color to a secondary color. So for instance, in order to create a new color called blue-violet, because violet is another word for purple, we can use the color blue and color it in on top of a purple that we've already mixed. Now this color is gonna be purple still, but it's gonna be more of a blue purple. Now we can do that again by using red, the other color that makes purple, and let's mix that up on top of a purple we already made. Now we still have purple here, but it's called a red violet. So here we have purple, which is also called violet, and we have our true purple here, blue violet and red violet. They're all different colors, but they are made from just blue and red. Now for green, we can do the same thing. We can make a yellow green by adding more yellow on top of our blue and green, or blue and yellow, I mean. And we can make a blue green by adding more blue on top of our green. See how those are all green colors? But this one is more blue, this one is more yellow. Now we can do the same thing with orange and create a red orange by adding extra red. And we can even create a yellow orange by adding extra yellow. Now we've made so many colors, I bet you we can draw the whole rainbow. And I'll show you how. So let's create some rainbows and some beautiful rainbow art here on our reference sheet for color. We're going to draw that rainbow by going in rainbow order, which starts with the color red. That's the bell here. It's very different from the bell that I'm used to. Now we're going to color in our red art on our rainbow. There we go. Next, we are going to make orange because the next color in the rainbow is orange. Now, I already used my red, so the next color that I'll have to use is a little bit of yellow. Because remember, I'm drawing a rainbow, but I'm only using my three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. So to add to my rainbow, the next color is yellow because that is gonna mix up with my red make a nice bright orange. I would love to see the rainbows you all create by mixing your colors. Now the next color in the rainbow is the color yellow. So let's go ahead and create a yellow art underneath our orange that we mixed up. Fantastic. So now we have red, orange, and yellow, the first three colors in the rainbow. I bet you know what the next color is, and that is the color green. Now, how in the world can we make green with just the colors red, yellow, and blue? Let's see. We have to look up at our colors here. Do you see the color green? 
I do. It looks like green is made from yellow and blue. Now we already have yellow here, so let's go ahead and add in our blue to the yellow here to make a nice green color in our rainbow. It's your rainbow, so you can make it look however you want. And even if it's not perfect, that's okay. Because this is just for practice, and there's no way to be perfect the first time we do something, right? You always have to learn how to do it first, and then as you practice it more and more and more, that's when it starts to get to a way that you might like more. But it's important to give it a try. The next color in our rainbow is blue. Well, we were just using blue, so let's just go ahead and continue our blue and use it just to make a nice blue arc underneath our green here. I bet you know what color's coming next. That's right, it's the, it's the nope, not a primary color. It's a secondary color. It's the one we haven't used yet. It's the color purple. Now, how do we mix up purple? That's right, red and blue. So we're going to take our red, because guess what we already have here? The color blue. And we are going to add in a little red in our blue to make a beautiful purple. And guess what we've created? A rainbow. It's a very beautiful one. I'm going to draw some clouds underneath, just because that's what I like to do, but you don't have to. And I'm going to shade in some little bits of my clouds here, so they look like the clouds in the sky, that are nice and fluffy, with lots of value and dimension. And there's my rainbow and my fantastic color theory chart. Now, my friends, what I would like for you to do is to make this and show it to me in a Flipgrid video. You could show it to me by taking a picture with your phone. Pretend this is my phone. <laughs> Boom. You could take a picture with your phone and you can send it to me on Class Dojo if you're at my first elementary school, or you can email it to me and that way I will be able to see your gorgeous artwork. Now, when you've done this, you can just click Submit. Um, what is it called? It is an assignment. So you can click Submit Assignment, and then I will be able to know that you turned this in, and I can go looking for your email or your message. There's that bell again. And I will see it, and I will be so happy. Now, if you've already done your color reference sheet, what I would like for you to do is to create a wonderful picture with all kinds of colors in it that you make from using just the colors, red, yellow, and blue. The way that I made this one, and I can show you here, is I just took my colors and I decided to start mixing them and matching them and using them differently in different places and seeing what would happen. So here I have some red, and I'm going to use some yellow. Ah, so now I have a section of that red that's orange and this red over here becomes a little orange. Now I can add some blue and I'm just adding them wherever I want. And I'm going side to side and I'm making these thick curved lines throughout my paper. Now, one student yesterday told me it looked like a color tornado. I thought that was a really fun title, so I'd like to call it that. And what I'd like to see is you create your very own color tornadoes by mixing and blending all of the colors together and having a lot of fun. Now, you can keep going until there's no white left on your paper or until most of the paper is filled up with how mine is. Oopsies. Once all of the paper is filled up, then you can send me a picture or you can show me on Flipgrid and I would be so happy to see it. So my friends, let's have a lot of fun with our 
primary color artwork. And I can't wait to see what you create. I'm so happy to see you all again. And remember that you are fantastic artists. Every choice that you make is just the right choice for your art. So trust yourselves and 